Hi, good morning. This is Joelle from From Scratch Farmstead, and today we are going to make soaked baked oatmeal. Um, so this has been a family favorite of ours for several years now, and I love it because traditional breakfast foods, at least over the last, I don't know, 50, 100 years, um, are pretty heavy grain-based foods, think cereals, pancakes, bagels, all of those things um, that generally spike, spike blood sugar and then have it come crashing down by mid-morning. But I love the soaked baked oatmeal recipe because it has the kind of comfort food of your oatmeal, but it's actually filled with eggs and coconut oil, healthy fats, protein, um, fruit, other things to um, help make it more nourishing than just oatmeal. So um, the first thing that we're going to do with our oats is that we soak them overnight. So we soak our oats for, you want at least eight hours, if not, it can be up to 24 hours. You soak it in something acidic. Um, so we use a uh, kefir from our milk. We make kefir. Yogurt would also work really, really well. Um, otherwise, if you don't do dairy, you can also do a little bit of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar with water. And so what you're going to want to do, we have three cups of oats in our bowl, and I add about a cup and a half of liquid um, and stir it together. So again, we used kefir. You can use yogurt or um, water with lemon juice or apple cider vinegar and you mix it together. Basically you want not a soupy, super liquidy mixture, but you want to make sure all of your oats are soaked. Um, so then you get a mixture like this after letting it set overnight and then you're going to add the rest of your ingredients. And the reason that we soak it overnight is to um, make it more digestible. Is to There's something called phytic acid in your oats that make it difficult to digest. Those grains make it difficult to digest. And so by soaking it, you eliminate that and make it more digestible and make the nutrients more bioavailable. So, so we have everything that we need here. We're going to start with our soaked oats. And we are going to add four eggs to that. So it's really important for us that we start our day off, especially with good fats, healthy fats and protein in our breakfast because that has just been found to really help give you a good start to the day, um, not crash your blood sugar, help to keep you full and energized throughout the day. And so that is something that we make sure that we do. Um, so we have four eggs in there. I do have, this is a quarter cup of honey. Maple syrup would also work totally fine for this. But this is um, a raw honey. You can tell it's kind of been crystallized here since we are in the middle of winter. The honey crystallizes, but sign of good local raw honey. Okay, so we have our oats, our eggs, our honey, and we're going to add a half a cup of melted coconut oil. To give you some good healthy fat in your oatmeal. I like to add a little bit of salt. I do not measure it. We use Redmond sea salt. That is our family's favorite and a little bit of cinnamon. Again, I don't measure these things. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. Um, and then our fruit. So here I have frozen blackberries and rhubarb from our summer garden. Um, I freeze a ton of this stuff to have to use all year round. So we are making a blackberry rhubarb baked oatmeal, but you can do however you want. You can do apples, you can do bananas, you can do berries, you can do pretty much any any concoction that you want. I've even done coconut flakes with chocolate or different things. Um, experiment with it, have fun with it. There are so many options that you can make, but we are doing a blackberry rhubarb today. And then you're going to mix everything up. It can be a little bit tricky. You want to make sure your bowl is big enough so nothing is going over the, the edge. Alright, and then 
once everything is mixed up, incorporated, you're going to pour it into a greased dish. This is 9 by 13 glass dish. Pour it in there. Alright, spread everything around. Then you're going to bake it in the oven. This bakes at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes until it is cooked through. And then we love to serve it um, in a bowl with a little bit of, well, it depends who in our family. Some people like it plain, some people like it with a little bit of milk. If you want to make it extra fancy, you can do a drizzle of honey or maple syrup over the top um, or just eat it plain. But that is soaked baked oatmeal and it's about to go pop in the oven. Um, and just another thing I wanted to share really quick, so about sourcing of ingredients. So most everything that we have here, we source locally, our fruits and our eggs and our honey. Um, but for the oats, we do get our oats, um, the gluten-free sprouted rolled oats um, that are organic, we get from Costco. That is the place that I found to have the best um, oats right now. I've, ebbed and flowed in different places, but Costco is where we are currently getting them. And then we also get our coconut oil from Costco. Um, so I think that is it, and we are gonna go pop this in the oven. All right, our baked oatmeal is out of the oven. That was cooking at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Um, and as you can see, the top is just starting to get a little golden, um, and it looks beautiful. So this is our soaked baked oatmeal recipe. I love this one because it is a nourishing recipe. It's a great recipe for kids. It's a great way to get some protein and good fats in their first uh, meal of the day. So thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead. We hope you enjoy this recipe and we'll see you next time.